How's it going Capricorn? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot guys. Welcome to the channel. All right, so it's time for March 2021 mid-month tarot card readings and I always use the same deck which is the Starman tarot card deck that I'm shuffling now and I'm going to use the Star Guide spread and this is the it was in the companion book for the deck. So I love the combination. It's intended to be used together. So um anyway, I love doing this for the mid-month, and it seems to be pretty popular with you guys, but you can let me know down below in the comments or just say hi. Um, all right, I'm going to shuffle out a couple more times here, and just the usual disclaimers. This is a general tarot card reading, so if it doesn't resonate, you might want to check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's all, so let me just shuffle a couple more times, and then we'll get right into your reading. It's almost time for me to buy a new... Uh, Starman, you can see they're getting a little bit fluffy from all the shuffling and how many times I've used this deck and that's because I love it so much. All right, so we're going to look at the present situation and this is going to be the energy available to the sign of Capricorn at the time that I do the reading. And just as I was saying that, I saw angel number 111 pop across the screen here. So, I mean, that's a really good start. And this is a very interesting thing that I cut the same card for you for the same energy for Sagittarius, the seven of pentacles. But I mean, this is really related to being able to grow your garden now so that you can have fabulous results in the future okay so um i'm just going to clarify out that card there uh it's kind of not giving me any messages and that happens sometimes to tarot card readers the card just sits there and goes and you know so let me just clarify that so there is a lot of planning for your future. I just pulled the three of wands over top of it, okay? So both of these cards in different ways. There is sort of an emotional way of looking at things, okay, and assessing where, what steps of, am I needing to take next. And the seven of pentacles wants you to make sure that you have enough money to get there. You know, somebody told me once when I was... I don't know, in my late teens, early 20s, that if you put $25 away, is it a week or bi-weekly, that you would be a millionaire by the time that you were ready to retire. But I, I was young and dumb and I didn't bother listening to anybody's advice. So, <laughs> but this is an opportunity for you guys, especially if you are um, not in my age range and I'm 55 right now. So this is really calling you guys to plan things out very meticulously for the rest of your life. And I think I just did a little bit of a chicken head when I said meticulously, and I really wanted to do it again right now, but I'm not going to. So, um, okay. Okay. So the next card is, and it jumped right out of the deck. I was going to do a deck cut. So cause of conflict, the, this is the tower card. Okay. So I mean, this obviously reflects massive upheaval. And the state of the, the global population right now is very, very unstable. I know lots of people have lost their jobs, lost their main source of income, maybe not having a place to live. This is like really not vibing well with the plan that you had, how you saw your future. So this is maybe taking you aback a little bit and you're, well, now what? You know, I, like I lost my job, um, my company that I worked for for 10 years, they did a downsizing and I was like, oh, okay, great. So, and I'm still looking for work. So this could be your situation also. The tower card comes in to really just blow your life apart. And this is not some calm, soft, subdued, tower card like we see in the good tarot deck this is something that really like really ignited you know and life is not the same as it was before so your plans probably need to change a little bit you're gonna have to be a little bit more adaptable and adjust your plan which is not always super easy when things are going really great and you're in that groove um you know, and you think, well, I'm, I'm really got this. This is going to really work for me, you know, but then the tower, like your spirit guides are like, oh, by the way, we just have a little lesson for you guys. And then they launch a grenade into your life and you're like, great. Thanks a lot. You know, 
But the purpose of this spread is to help you guys. The next card is going to look at the changes needed in, in, in order to face your challenges. Okay, so this is a super cool card. And here's David Bowie, you know, and he is the Starman. Remember, this deck is called the Starman. So the Starman replaces the Magician in a standard tarot card deck. And this is instead of, like, I just get reminded of that phrase, um, instead of saying, why me, try me, okay? So look at the stance here, and it's like, what else you got? I can handle this. I was born to handle this. I was born to make magic out of, you know, nothing. So standing in the face of whatever, and, and it looks like there's going to be a blow up for you guys, I mean, or you've already faced it. But this reading could be reminding you to stand up and, and take it all and draw energy from this instead of feeling defeated, you know, because... You have to remember what you're projecting out into the universe is what is going to be drawn back into you. So, okay, you had a little fireworks in your life, but you're going to be fine. Probably going to change your direction a little bit. It's going to change the landscape, you know. It did for everybody, I think. So, let's see. I'm going to pull an outcome card here. I feel like these cards have a little bit more to say, but I'm just going to let them sit there for a second. So you have the Princess of Wands. So you guys could really start getting messages here very shortly, okay? And it could be from somebody that is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And this is going to be what action steps to take next. I think I said that right. What action steps to take next. Yeah. Okay, so you might have to go down a bit of a different path here. So the Princess of Wands, she's saying like, everything's going to be okay, but I also have some direction for you. Hopefully to help you sort of reboot your, your trajectory. So there was a couple cards that I wanted to clarify. I really wanted to clarify... Let's clarify the Starman card. <laughs> okay, so we pulled the Ten of Wands here. <laughs> so you guys may have a particularly challenging journey right now, and I don't mean to laugh. I mean, obviously, everybody's having a tough time. I'm having a tough time, you know, so I... I I do these readings with love and, you know, light, but I do have a sense of humor. So you can see in the Ten of Wands that this journey has just become a little bit too heavy. <sighs> and where do you find the strength to keep on going? And that's where the Starman comes in. So you guys can really just keep on putting one foot in front of the next, even if it feels like nothing is ever happening like why am i not manifesting this and just keep in mind that you are always manifesting always 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 um the key ingredient to alchemy to manifestation is time okay so you guys have to give you yourself that time so you have to kind of make a decision which way you'd like to carry yourself you want to get up in the morning and be the ten of wands all right but that's the kind of day that you're going to have. You want to get up and be a freaking rock star like the star man? Yeah. That obviously the choice is the star man, okay? There's there's no if ands or buts about it. What is it going to take to transmute your energy from 10 of wands to star man? Like what is that thing in the morning? You know, you might want to start listening to affirmations first thing in the morning instead of dropping an F bomb when the alarm goes off or when the alarm doesn't go off or you just eventually wake up it depends on your employment situation right now you know even if you have just the the job that you just hate you know at least you have a job you know what i mean try and see the silver lining and everything here for you capricorn and face the world as if as if you were about to take the stage and all eyes are on you and like yeah yeah, okay, woo, you know, own the room, own your energy. And then I pulled one more card for you guys because you do have 
the emperor coming in. You do have some help coming in. It is on the horizon. Um, it might feel like it's been a very long, weary journey for you guys, but honestly, and for me, it doesn't make me feel any better when people say, oh, well, lots of people are going through that. I'm like, well, pff, you know, what? Well, that's, I'm sorry, but you know what I mean? So maybe you're tired of hearing that and you need to shut it off and just start looking for solutions with people that can align you with your highest opportunities. And it looks like they are coming in here, but you're going to have to engage Starman mode. You're going to have to engage the spotlight as if Everything is like, everything's okay. Every day is the day that you want to wake up, you know, woo. Like there's just, come on. This is tired, broke down, busted palace, 10 of wands energy. It's not going to get you anywhere. It really isn't. Especially if you have to start rebooting your life after a pandemic fail. So really intense cards here for you Capricorn but I hope it encouraged you a little bit to really start looking inside yourself and bringing out that your metal you know so that's all I'm getting okay guys so take care <laughs> bye